If you look at the statistics, we have millions of patients with heart failure in the, in the United States. Seven million patients and the number is expected to double over the next one to two decades. After decades of exhaustive research with hundreds of scientists spending hundreds of million dollars, we've arrived at the current version of the total artificial heart. That's comprised of three different components. The implant being the primary component, and that's being powered by one of two external drivers. The drivers are pneumatically driven, and it's all intended to simulate what's going on with the native heart. It's really intended for that end-stage heart failure patient, biventricular failure, that really has no other options. I had it for two and a half years, so my life was normal. I actually could go on road trips. You can do whatever you want to do, travel the way you want to travel. That was the best bridge, so to speak, to heart that you could ever have, given the circumstance.